Port Scan with Nmap allows you to discover which TCP or UDP ports are open on your target host. Network ports are the entry points to a machine that is connected to the Internet. A service that listens on a port is able to receive data from a client application, process it, and send a response back. Malicious clients can sometimes exploit vulnerabilities in the server code so they can gain access to sensitive data or execute malicious code on the machine remotely. That is why testing for all ports is necessary in order to achieve a thorough security verification. Port scanning is usually done in the initial phase of a penetration test in order to discover all network entry points into the target system. Port scan takes the biggest part of our Nmap lectures. In what I would call the most basic port scan types lectures, we see the following. Nmap options of port scanning, SYN scan, TCP scan, comparison between the SYN scan and TCP scan, UDP scan, and some other types of port scans. SYN scan is the default and the most popular scan option for good reasons. It can be performed quickly, scanning thousands of ports per second on a fast network, not blocked by restrictive firewalls. It's also relatively stealthy, since it never completes TCP connections. It also allows clear, reliable differentiation between open, closed, and filtered states. This technique is often referred to as half-open scanning, because you don't open a full TCP connection. You send a SYN packet, as if you're going to open a real connection, and then wait for a response. A SYNAC indicates the port is listening, or open, while a wrist, reset, is indicative of a non-listener. If no response is received after several retransmissions, or an ICMP unreachable error is received, the port is marked as filtered. If you receive a SYNAC from the target system, you send wrist instead of the ACK packet, and you do not complete the three-way handshake. Okay, so let's perform an NMAP SYN scan in our virtual network. Go to Kali and open the terminal screen. First, let's look at the IP address of Kali to understand the IP block. Here, my IP block is 172.16.99. This is because the net mask is 255.255.255.0. I, I, I don't want to go further into network basics in this course. You know what? Okay, fine. I'm going to add an IPv4 document to the course resources. You can look it up there. Now, let's create the SYN scan command. NMAP is the command itself. S capital S is to SYN scan. Since it's the default scan type for privileged users, and I'm already a privileged user in Kali, this parameter is not necessary for a SYN scan. Now, here is the target IP block, 172.16.99.0. 24. As we talked about before, remember, this is the IP address block from 172.16.99.0 right the way through 172.16.99.255. And let's keep it a fast scan for just the top 50 ports. I use top ports parameter for this purpose and hit enter. Now let's look at the scan results. Here we have the computers who have the IP addresses 172.16.99.1 and 2. These are the gateway and the DNS server for my virtual network, VMNet. Ignore them for now. In fact, one is my host machine at the same time. Here there is a system, and the open ports are in the top 50. Oh, look, there's another machine, and of course, it's open ports. The machine with IP254 is the DHCP server of my VimNet, so ignore that as well. And the last machine found is the Kali itself. Okay, let's open Wireshark and see what's happening when a SYN scan is performed. Run Wireshark first. Double-click ETH0 to start to listen to that interface. Now to skip the packets, which we are not interested in, I add a filter. I only want to see the traffic for my destination computer, 172.16.99.139. And I want to see the TCP traffic only. 
Click the blue arrow next to the filter bar to activate the filter. OK, now go to the terminal screen. I'd like to analyze the SynScan packets for an open port first. 172.16.99.139 is my destination system, and I know that port 80 of that system is open. Hit Enter and run the Nmap query. Yep, the port is open just as I remember. So now go back to Wireshark. I want to stop Wireshark by clicking the red square at the upper left corner to avoid unwanted packets. So here we have three packets. The first packet is from an arbitrary port of Kali to the 80th port of the system 139, the destination system. It is a SYN packet to start the three-way handshake. The second packet is a SYN ACK sent by the destination system. The third packet is a wrist sent by Kali. Because it's a SYN scan, the three-way handshake is not completed and corrupted by a wrist packet. Now I restart the Wireshark packet capturing to clean its screen by clicking the upper left blue button. OK, so this time I scan a closed port, for example, port 81. Now the first packet is a SYN scan packet to start the three-way handshake again. The source system is Kali, and the destination system is, again, 139. The second packet is, for this scan, a wrist packet. Because port 81 is closed, the destination system sent us a wrist packet. Let's see how Nmap interprets the results of SYN scan. When we send a SYN packet, the destination system replies a SYN ACK packet to show that it's ready for a connection. And we send wrist to corrupt the handshake. Nmap interprets this result as the port is open. If the destination system replies a wrist packet for our SYN packet, that means the port is accessible, but it's closed. If the destination system doesn't respond to our SYN packet, Nmap thinks that the packet is dropped or filtered. It's a common behavior of the firewalls. If the destination system replies an ICMP unreachable packet for our SYN packet, again, it's interpreted as filtered. This is another type of firewall behavior. 